Hello, guys. Uh, this is Ty, a.k.a. The Flip Man. And today we have an expert, a legend in the world of tax liens, tax deeds, tax certificates. And uh, he's here to share how, no matter where you live, how you can take advantage of these opportunities that are basically endless nationwide. So I have the uh, legend Ted Thomas uh, here with us, and uh, he's going to um, share his knowledge and give you an opportunity to get trained by he, him and his team. So, uh, Ted, um, how's it going? I'm doing great, great. We got a great day, and that hurricane's gone by, so everybody's comfortable again. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Boy, Florida, uh, the good and the bad. Uh, but yeah, so um, can you tell uh, uh, my people, uh, Ted? Uh, Tax liens. Explain what they are in, in the business itself. Okay, good. I'll be happy to do that. Well, first of all, thanks for the invitation. I'm glad to work with you. And uh, for all you people out there that want to learn about tax certificates, I'm Ted Thomas. I've been doing this for a, a little over 30 years. Um, I come from the real estate business, but when I learned about tax liens and tax deeds, I never looked back. This is a fantastic business and anybody can get in and I'll tell you how. So first of all, what is a tax lien certificate? All the properties in the United States have a tax, all right? It's a property tax. So the legislature of the state says, look, everyone's got to pay taxes. So what happens? Well, just like everything, people have problems. Some people, you know, they have a, a, a job loss or they have a divorce or something happens in their life. Maybe they had a big hurricane like we did in Florida and they can't pay their property tax. Well, if you don't pay your property tax, what's going to happen is the local government is going to, in half of the states, is going to issue a tax lien certificate. Now, it's nothing more like a piece of paper like this. That's all it is that I'm holding up. All right, so it's just a piece of paper, and anybody can buy that tax lien certificate. Now, why would you buy one? Because what you're going to do when you buy a tax certificate is you're going to pay someone else's taxes. And you're saying, why would I pay someone else's taxes? <laughs> because if you do, what they'll do, depending upon the state, is they will not only get your money back, but they'll pay you an interest rate of 16, 18, 24, all the way up to 36% interest. So I know you'd like to make money. So these are government certificates. So you invest with the government, you get a check back from the government. Now here's what happens. If they don't pay you, you end up with a property. So you're kind of seeing this is a great investment environment to get, get in. And you can get in in half of the states in the United States and half the counties. Wow, okay. All right. Um, so uh, could you explain uh, um, a little more about uh, the tax defaulted property? Okay. All right. So what a tax defaulted property, what happens is, is the property owner doesn't pay the tax. So that's a problem for the county. The county needs money. What does the county need money for? The county has to pay the county employees, pay the police. They have to pay the fire to firefighters. They have to pay the sheriff. They have to pay, there's a lot of bills to pay. So property tax is what pays the county. So now the county didn't get paid. So what they're going to do is they're going to, they're actually going to seize. They're going to either take the property away or in the tax lien states, which is what we're talking about, they're going to issue a tax lien certificate, which is just a piece of paper. And they'll put those on the list. And there's thousands of these certificates. I mean, thousands. In Florida, they'll have a million certificates every year in May and June. They have a million certificates to pay. Wow. So the county and the local government need money. So they want you to buy these certificates. And when you do, like in Florida, they'll pay 18%. In Illinois, they would pay you 36%. And I'm gonna show you how you can do all this on a computer if you wanna. So you can sit on your rusty dusty and make money sitting at your computer. How about that? Wow, so that was my next question. So this can be actually done online. Yes, you can do it. All the counties now, when I started, I used to have black hair. You can imagine I had black hair and I was skinny, but you know what happened, uh, I got old. So, so sure enough, in the old days, they, you had to go to the county to do all the bidding. Now you can bid on, on electronic websites. They'll put these, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll put them all in the newspaper so you know about it. They'll put them on the website, but you can do it all online. And you can do every, every, every county that sells tax certificates, you can do online. Like if you're in Alabama, like you are, you can buy in Mississippi. Mississippi pays a lot. Or you can buy over in Georgia, they pay even more. And so you're getting the idea. So you can do it in any state you want, or you can go to Illinois, or you can go to any state, like all the way to Arizona, if you want, and you can do all that online. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, so um, when that happens, is, is the uh, government actually taking the house or it just depends on the state? 
on how that works? Oh, good question. Good question. All right, here's the deal. All the counties in the United States have the ability to take your property away if you don't pay. Mm. Half of the counties in the United States sell tax liens. Now, when they sell a tax lien, they're just selling a piece of paper. That's all they're doing. They don't remove the homeowner. So a tax certificate, any state that sells tax certificates, now I'm saying this, the government's not saying, any state that sells it is a benevolent state. So you take Florida, you take Alabama, you take Mississippi. Uh, So half of the states sell these tax certificates. And when they do, the property owner stays on the property. Even though they're in default, they stay on the property, like in Florida, for a full two years. But most other states, they can stay on that property for three years and not pay the tax. But now at the end of the three years, the government's going to confiscate. They're going to take that property and they're going to sell it at a tax deed auction. Now, we're going to do four videos together, Ty and I. So not to worry. We're going to explain all this. We're going to take about 15 minutes today and then we'll take we'll do we'll do three or four of these so you guys will get that so not to worry i'm going to tell you about tax lien certificates and tax default and property i've been doing the same thing for 30 years once i learned this i never changed i'm a player but i mean i buy these things i buy them online i buy them offline so i'm the guy who's going to be able to teach you this so so uh, we'll give you a, we'll, we'll give you a lot of insight so if i say something don't get discouraged just stay with us stay through these videos and what you're going to see i'll go through all the details i'm not withholding anything back You'll get you'll get the real detail. So I guess that somewhat answers um, uh, the next question is, um, is this a difficult business because of the the number of states? There are obviously the number of counties and the different laws uh, on the state level, even on the county level. Sometimes Uh, is this a does that make the business difficult or it creates more opportunity? No, it's going to be going to be it's not going to be difficult. Here's why. So let's say, let's take one, let's take one county. Let's take a county like Hillsborough County. I picked that one because it's a big one in, that's Tampa, Florida. So Tampa, Florida, they're going to have a tax certificate auction. They're going to have it at least once a year. Now I'm going to put this up in front of my face. This is a big newspaper. Okay, I hope mm-hmm. you can see that. That's a newspaper. That's a list of 40,000 tax certificates. There's no pictures in that newspaper. That's how many there's going to be. So you can buy any certificate in Tampa, Florida, online so you can just just learn that one county once you know one county in the state like florida has 67 counties so once you learn one county it's the same in the next county there could be some little rules difference but they're going to tell you all that yeah they'll tell you that on the auction and, and let you know that so they don't hide anything the government wants you to buy these certificates because the money you bring in is what pays the county so the county's going to help you do this but it's still the government. So you're going to invest with the government. And then when the people pay their tax, you're going to get checks back from the government. So you don't invest with Ted Thomas. I'm just a teacher and an educator. I'm not a broker or an attorney or anything like that. I just pe- teach people how to do that. So you can do this in all the counties in the United States. There's 3,000 plus counties, but only half of them sell tax lien certificates. Wow. Okay. So let's get into some of the numbers. Um, can someone make 25, 30, 40, $50,000? Uh, on one deal is that possible and i guess how okay now when you start you don't want to say i'm going to make a hundred thousand dollars but i'm going to show you a video here in a second all right now this couple came to me and wanted to learn how to do it this guy's name is drew his wife's name is risha they live in phoenix arizona so this is a perfect example so they raised a hand at auction and what did they get they bought a tax certificate now before they bought this certificate they went out and took a look now you remember now you're not going to marry the woman unless you look at her. So it's the same deal with tax liens and deeds. You want to look at what you're buying. Now, you can look online. Or you can look with the GIS satellite. I'll teach you how to do that in a minute. All right. So they bought a tax certificate. All right. So it was a three-year tax certificate in Arizona. Well, the people didn't pay the tax the first year. So they paid it. They didn't pay the second year. So they paid it. They didn't pay the third year. So they paid it. All right. Now, the people didn't pay their tax. But here's how a tax certificate works. If you raise your hand... You buy the certificate, you gave your money to the government. So the government said, you paid us like you promised. So guess what? They didn't pay us, so you get the property. So they got the property. You're not going to believe this video when you watch it. They bought a property. It was a condo. You're going to see a beautiful condo in just a minute. I'm going to play a video and you'll see it. Bought a beautiful (laughs) condo on the water in Phoenix. They paid $11,000. And when the auction takes place, it wipes out the mortgage. It wipes it out. The mortgage is gone. Or the trust deed, whichever's on there, it's gone. They got a house for 11000 When do you see what they bought it for? I'm going to show you this video right now. 
This is life changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and, and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not, it's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. We for were in 11. a total for 11,000. Both of those. And we rented That's that magic. at twelve twenty-five for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. Yeah. All right, wow. <laughs> no, no, that's amazing. All right, so, wow, that is amazing. Now, they spent, uh, I guess, whatever the amount was and the, uh, you said, 11000 to to get it, to, to obtain that property. So, but for someone that may not have that type of budget or resources starting out, we'll just say $100 or $500. Uh, can someone start as low as that amount if they want to start to invest in tax liens or tax certificates? Okay, now. I've got to be. I've got to be straight with you now. If you bought five hundred dollar tax certificate, you got a little tax certificate this big. You know, it's five hundred bucks. If you made twenty percent on that, you only made a hundred bucks. So yes, bucks. you can do it. But what do you want? A little piece of a little piece of it. What you want to do is you want to try to get your money together ahead of time and buy buy for two thousand and five thousand or whatever. Now let me tell you, I work with a guy in Alabama, and this guy is a newspaper editor. He's a newspaper editor. And he said, can you show me how to do this? I said, yeah, I'll show you how to do it. So I started showing him how to do it. And he started tracking tax liens and tax liens, tax liens and tax deeds. All right, now they're sold at counties and they're sold at municipalities. And he called me up and he said, Ted, I went down to the auction yesterday. I said, wow, good. Did you get anything? He said, well, they had a house. I said, well, did you, did you put a bid? He said, I didn't believe it. I said, what do you mean you didn't believe it? He said, they auctioned off a house for three hundred dollars, I said, "What's wrong with that?" He said, "Are you sure this is legal?" I said, "It's legal." <laughs> I said, "You didn't buy it?" I said, "Oh no!" I said, "Why don't you go back down there today and see if they sold it?" He went back down. He bought a house for three hundred and sixteen dollars. I'm going to show you a picture of it and a picture of him, and I got a still picture. Okay, so he's he bought a house for three hundred dollars and went. Called me back and he said, Ted, I got the house. He said, what should I do? I said, sell it. He said, what do you mean sell it? I want to buy stuff. I said, well, why don't you rent it? He said, what should I rent it for? I said, I'm in Florida. You're in Alabama. How the hell am I going to tell you what to rent it for? I said, call around the neighborhood and ask some neighbors. They'll tell you. So he put a sign, $700. Now they can see the picture of this house. It's a two bedroom, one bath. Got a lot of fruit trees around it. It's a nice little place. All right. So he put, he put 1800 bucks and fixing it up, painted it up, cleaned it up. This kid came that just got married. The kid said, I'll give you $5,000 for the year for rent. And remember, he bought it for 300 bucks. He spent 1,800. He got first year, 5,000 bucks. So there you go. That's right practically next to your hometown. All right. <laughs> no, that's interesting. <laughs> All right. So, um, um, well, the killer was well, next door to you and it just bought the sale. I mean, a lady, a lady, I taught a lady in Canada. She bought a house about 20 miles from me. I said, can't believe it. You bought that property. She made she made 40,000 bucks on one property. It was right down the street from me. I didn't even check. Oh, I banged oh. my head. Oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, just to be clear, um, so if a um, uh, an owner 
does not pay the taxes on a property. Um, and I, I'm assuming this is not the same in every state, but it, it's a process to the same end game. You literally can get, get ownership of the house. Absolutely. So here's what here's what's happening. If you can visualize the whole United States, there's mm -hmm. 3,000 counties. About mm -hmm. half of the counties sell tax liens. But what happens if they can't sell the tax lien? If they can't sell it now, an auction like I showed you, Tampa. This is for this is forty thousand certificates, one auction. In the state, they'll have a million. Just in Florida, now they'll have they'll have hundreds of thousands in 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 Alabama where you are, and they'll have they'll have. Uh, I think Jackson, Mississippi, has like. 15,000 every year, tax certificate, every year. If they can't sell those, then the county will confiscate the property and they will sell it. Now, every property has a tax assessment. All our real estate know, people know they got a tax yeah. assessment, but they don't sell at a tax value. What they're going to do is the county just wants taxes. Mm. See, the county collects taxes to pay their employees. So the auction starts down here at back taxes, but the property might be valued up here. So this is all your margin. So you got margins. If you buy here and it's worth here, hell, hell, sell, sell halfway in between if you want. So all of the states sell tax defaulted property, but half of them sell tax liens. Tax liens is for little old ladies and little old men like me. You don't have to worry because you gave your money to government, you get a check back from the government. The people want to make the bucks. You want to buy tax defaulted property. That's where the action is and the big money. Wow. Okay. So I guess in uh, just thinking through it, um, and if the, if they redeem it, uh, so be it, and you get your interest on it. But in a lot of cases, just as simple as that, if they won't pay the government, they're probably not going to pay you to redeem it. Uh, am I thinking right in that? And that's why a lot of well, opportunities exist. Here's here's the opportunity. So you raised your hand and you bought a certificate, and just like that man I showed you a minute ago in Phoenix. He bought a certificate and they didn't pay, they didn't pay, they didn't pay. So the government actually makes a covenant. A covenant is a promise. The government says, if they don't pay you, you get the property. So that mm -hmm. means in all the tax lien certificates, say, if you buy a certificate and they don't pay you, well, you're going to have to do a foreclosure process. But you and I would do that. We call an attorney for a thousand bucks. He does all the paperwork. And mm -hmm. then you're going to end up with the property. So you will end up with the property on a tax certificate if they don't pay. So the reason people will pay you is because they're gonna lose the property. That's why they pay. The whole reason for tax, tax certificates is to make the people pay their taxes. If they won't pay, then they're gonna lose their property. Simple as that. Wow. Yeah, and um, I've been in the game for 20 years and you know it, I've come across opportunities with properties uh, that were tax certificates or, or deeds or whatever, and I've all, always avoided them and um, uh, a lady, really got me to see it uh, in a different way about a month ago. And uh, that's basically why we're here right now uh, with Ted to uh, give you an opportunity to learn this game because uh, it opened my eyes and I'm already pursuing some properties. Ty, you're absolutely right. This is something that people have to learn about. And so once a month, I do an all day. Now it's all day, folks. So listen close to what I'm gonna say. All day on a Saturday, it's a virtual seminar. So you can sit on your rusty dusty at home. And just like you're watching your computer now, you can watch us demonstrate all this for six hours. So if you're finding stuff interesting in this, this session, and we're gonna do three more of these, you can sign up for that. Now, right below me, when we finish this, you'll see it, it's a registration. So it's $47, you can come to the event, it's all day. Okay, so you can eat your lunch there, you can have your family watch with you, mm -hmm. you can bring your friends over, I don't care how many people you have, but you can sit there and you can watch this take place and I'll bring my, I'll not only bring my coaches, but I'll bring my facilitators. I'll bring all the people. I have a lot of people. That, I've been doing this for 30 years and I can show you a lot in that six hours. All right. So right below me, you can register for that, but just know Ty and I are coming right back with video two, three, and four. I'll see you on the next video.